What is happening, y'all? I'm back for another MK discussion, and for this time, I'm going to be talking about the face of the series. No, not Scorpion. The other one. No, 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 the other one. Oh my, oh my gosh. Liu Kang! I'm talking about Liu Kang! To get this discussion going, I, want, I first want to talk about how all the uh, box arts have changed over the years because you'll notice something in, in very interesting about it. So here's the one for Mortal Kombat 4. And as you can see, you see Gora at the top, Raiden on the left, and then you see Tanya on the right side. Now, let's go to the next one. Melina is also featured in one, which I was surprised to even find when I was looking at these. Melina was featured for the Collector's Edition. Um, this was also for Armageddon. Shao Kahn was featured along with Sindel. Sub Zero got his own, or Bar even Bar Baraka got his own. And also, this is probably one of the sickest ones yet. Look how menacing he looks, especially with like the pointy ears he got. The, the Deception one, Baraka looked insane. And then, of course, here's another uh, version of it with Johnny Cage and Goro. And then, lastly, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. So, if you already can tell, Liu Kang has never been featured on any of the uh, box arts or like just put front and center in the series ever at all. Now let's jump into like the the main one of course. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be skipping the other three because of course they're just mainly focused on Scorpion but here it is. The main one shows Liu Kang front and center of the one. F f fully positioning himself as the new face of Mortal Kombat similar to how Luke is now being positioned as the new face of Street Fighter for Street Fighter 6. Liu Kang is finally getting to be the face of the series. This is even when he's supposed to be the face because he's the main character of course. He's been the protagonist but because of Scorpion, Scorpion will, is, the is how everyone knows about Mortal Kombat. When you think of MK, everyone always just think of Scorpion and the signature get over here. That's how it's pretty much always been for most of the series. Bringing all this up, especially story-wise stuff, because I'm curious on how Liu Kang's role will play out in most of the story, because if you already know what happens, he's been put into a godlike position, and now he is now the protector of Earth's realm, and he also made an entirely new era of Mortal Kombat now. This is now his era. This is the Liu Kang timeline, if you will. The Liu Kang flashpoint of the MK series now that we're in. I'm very curious if they'll just give him like a full-on protector role slash sensei role. Because I'm not sure that's not happening just because of what we saw in the trailer, but I was hoping that we would see more of that in a way because when you watch the end, when you watch his end day ending in MK11 Aftermath, you see him meet Kung Lao in the Wuxi Academy, getting ready to train him for what looks like the next tournament, positioning himself in the same role, role Raiden did when he, uh, when the great Kung Lao was getting ready to fight in the Mortal Kombat tournaments. So, is he, is he going to position himself like that, or will he be full-on control of it, of how everything should be. And Liu Kang said, you've chosen to defy peace. It kind of reminded me of what Raid said at the start of Eleven, in a way. I was cast out of a spin. The truth I embrace, Shinnok, is that mercy is wasted on those who defile Earthrealm. I will destroy our enemies before they destroy us, starting with you. So, in a way, it somewhat has a bit of elements of Dark Raiden in him. Because remember, it he merged with Raiden to become Fire God Liu Kang. So, parts of Raiden moves in. I'm not saying like the dark part of him because like... The dark part of him was already destroyed because of the uh, the time merger. So, but I feel like there could be some 
uh, some dark elements to to him based on how he might act if someone steps out of line and threatens Earthrealm. Because that's how Radiant Dark Radiant was supposed to be, and we never got to fully see that um, in it in the game. Because he, because after Shinnok, he fully took took his sh his amulet and threatened anyone who who would try and step and try and harm anyone in Earthrealm. I remembered when a while back when I first experienced this ending in particular. I was I was blown away on how this was written in a way, just for how um out of left field it felt. So, what I have on screen right now is the Mortal Kombat 9 ending for when you finish it with Shang Tsung, and it had some interesting dialogues. The mentor of warriors offered to teach him to control the dark magic, but for a special purpose. Liu Kang had become a god. The power had corrupted him transforming him into a tyrant he needed to be stopped after so in that ending yeah i know it sounds crazy with shang sung um preparing to fight Liu kang um to like help earth realm but that the other another part of it struck me and that was Liu kang becoming corrupted with this power because if you if you remember during aftermath he did something very dark and he pretty much let shang sung win he must win but by doing so he he allowed all of his allies to just be destroyed he he let he let the cage family be taken prisoner and as as slaves he let kotal khan be decapitated he even let he let himself also get his legs broken, and get Raiden, F Fujin, and I guess Shao Kahn and Sindel soul sucked as well. <laughs> he let Shang Tsung have his fun in aftermath pretty much. So I I'm curious on how that will blend in with how he might operate. Cause if is he going to be a co is he going to be corrupted and not be thinking straight like how he was all that all the time before before he became an actual god funny if they actually had shang Tsung just be the protagonist but i know that won't happen because they already said he would be dlc so dang so close to that ending being possible i honestly want this so badly but i feel like it won't happen and that's Lu, uh, Liu Kang just fully preparing Kung Lao to be fully become the champion of Mortal Kombat and pretty much become like the full hero for the story but I feel like that's not going to happen I feel like there will be a passing on of the torch moment in some way where he'll just be accepting it and not be fully prepared to take up the mantle because I feel that there'll be like some sort of threat that forces Liu Kang to like become the hero of the story at the end of it. I feel that they'll s find whatever retracted villain will be used to fight, fight Fire God Liu Kang in some way. I, I, I want it to happen, but I just can't see it happening because I know, I, I know the writers have something against Kung Lao, otherwise there's no way he's had this many deaths out of any other Mortal Kombat character. I'd say one last thing to also think about would be his relationship to Katana. Also, I hate I hate how this image is not even real anymore. I hate how Aftermath exists and took away this ending from Liu Kang with them both being together. How, how, how did Jade and Kotal Khan get like their kiss and their happy moment and Liu Kang and Katana did it? Come on. How is... The relationship between Liu Kang and Katana going to be uh, written now because he's he's now in a godlike position. While we're not even sure what Katana's like now, because is she now fully a princess of Adenia? Is she fully going to be committed to Adenia? Is she going to have? She's probably not even going to have any memories of the previous era. I feel that I, I feel that she's going to be a lot different now 
because Liu Kang is just now in like a high resistive power. It's like it's like what Kung Lao said um, at the start of chapter twelve. It's he said what was it? It was now now he's out of her league. <laughs> he's completely out of her league. There's no there's no chance now because of the status he's just been giving. But anywho, that's going to be it for this discussion. Let me know in the comments what you think is going to be happening with Liu Kang's character overall and what character do you want me to try and cover in another video. So thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more Mortal Kombat content in the future. I hope y'all have a good day and see y'all next time.